Hi, Mark Savage here. Welcome to my channel. Honda CBR 600 time, 2006 model. Today we're doing the teardown. This is where, do you know, I bought that three years ago and never used it. It's magnetic. All the screws are going to go and all the nuts and bolts are going to go in there. Today we are going to be tearing down everything off of this bike. And I've just noticed while I'm here that one of these bolts here is actually snapped off. That noise is my dog with a big bum. Thank you for that. Wattweilers have a problem of thinking they're small dogs and they're actually big dogs. She keeps going in place and reversing it and knocking everything over. Anyway, getting back to this, tank off, fuel out, we're going to see if we can get it started, at least turning over and started, and then we're going to sort it all out, because no sense, I said in my last video, of ploughing your money to this, and it doesn't run. My little selection of tools here, and that's what's nice about these, you don't need specialist tools, pretty much everything comes all off here of a hex, a screwdriver, and it'll come off. Most of this is scrap anyway. So we're just going to be left with the bare bones of the bike. Do you want to see me take the bits off? Probably not. So, quick look around the bike, if you remember the last one. And the next here should just be the bare frame. Remember what she was? Front off, headlight off, fairings off, seat, tank, rear. These sets. Handrail. Rear light. Exhaust should stay on. Inner panels, screen, everything off. Here's the bolt. Now, drill it in, and I've got an extraction tool. We'll be getting that out. Have to get it out, it'd be crap otherwise. Back off, etc. And then we'll see what we get left with. So join me in a few minutes. Oh, I forgot to mention bar ends. I need to do one of them as well. £16. I've been doing a little shopping list on eBay today, and I think it's up to 230 quid without the, even the um, panels yet, and tyres and fluids. Yeah, surprising how quickly it can gain up, isn't it? My phone. Uh, I'm washing up. Okay. Um, wife has noticed as well that there is a uh, stones falling everywhere. If you look over here, you see all the uh, stones at the bottom of the fairing. And as I'm taking bits off, there's just stones <laughs> falling out of everywhere. Do you ever think the bikes look a bit sorry for themselves when you take the panels off? They're like, oh no, like. The flat dog here, I said flat, not fat, although she's over five stone now, and she just wants to get involved, I guess. Anyway, tank off next, this little back bit's all loose to come off now. I just wanted to show you why the wife was uh, noticing I'm still outside in the sun. Mine might catch fire being ginger. Anyway, other little bits off next, and then we'll carry on. Believe me when I say that this fuel has been here for years. You know when fuel goes, that really different smell, like it's not fuel anymore? That's what that smells like. Like, I don't know, I can't explain it. A sort of uh, white spirit, sort of paraffin -y smell. It, it ain't good. Anyway, it's it's coming out. You watched it, it's a new program I've been watching, which is only a few series, flipping bangers, and there's two guys on there that get cars and sort of do them up on the cheap and try and sell them for maximum money. And do a thing I wouldn't do. But the other day he was siphoning fuel at this car that hadn't drove for years. And he was siphoning it out of his mouth. That's something you wouldn't do with this petrol. Oh, it's disgusting. Suggesting you watch the series. They did this car up, spent loads of money on it, and then they decided to scrap it, losing all their money. I would have took all the parts she put on there off and sell them, and then set it for spares. They give themselves five days to do it. Yeah. Sometimes it takes longer, it takes longer. Anyway. Draining the tank out. Still loads of petrol in there. Yeah, it's, it's not nice. Right, carry on with it. So, the electric pump wouldn't work 
unless they had the lights connected. <laughs> Which of course, on a little power pack, I used my power pack, I used for the peds, that drained it. Um, so I used a little bit of Easy Start, and she turned over and didn't sound brilliant. Um, tried to start, but had a rattle. Um, and I think that's because these are filthy in here, so I need to find out what's in here. Like his doors, does he? he likes to slam them. So I'm going to get the air box all off and let's have a look what we have under here because I haven't looked before. Definitely dirty, that needs cleaning. So you can look at the plugs as well. Come and look at this. It's not supposed to be there, and that means he hit and sucked up everything. Here's the carbs. I'm going to have to drain all of them out, um, get the crappy petrol out of there, and then I'm sure she'll go. The reason why, when I, I did get her going a couple of times, but she sounded really tap bangy. It wasn't oil, it was the fact that only one or two carbs are trying to pull, and it's dragging them up, so we're not going to do that. We're going to get this off, get all the carbs cleaned. Um, yeah, I'm hoping that will be it. And say, it wouldn't actually turn on unless I had this bit connected to front light. Makes you wonder what they have to have the front light connected just to get it started. Right, this is much more in depth than I thought it was going to be. Oh, it's just fingers crossed. This has been sitting for a long, long time. A long time. If you watch a video on my channel at a Kawasaki 636, that had sat seven years. It's not dissimilar to this, but that one hadn't been well in a track. Right, bloody plane. Like, share, subscribe, thank you so much for watching this little one. Next one will be me dismantling the carbs, cleaning them all out, and then getting on with the other little jobs as well. At least I know it did want to turn over. I'm 100% sure that is there as well. And then after I get the carbs cleaned, we can uh, get on eBay and start buying my parts. But looking at that air box, if it's like that, fuck off. If it's like that, then we're talking plugs, oil and oil So I know I'm going to buy them anyway. And yeah, it's worth spending a little bit of money out on them. I think it's about £100 maybe to get all them bits there. Um, get the engine running and then get the other parts sorted. It's a, it's a worthwhile investment of 100 quid in this to find out where we stand with it. Right, take care on the road. Thank you so much. Please like, share, and subscribe. Keep on waiting for these other. And stay with me for the next few videos on here of this CBR 600.